Okay, next stage in this project is that we need to uh, talk about putting on some titles or credits or things like that. So I'm, I'm going to move my cursor. So I just clicked on the front here, and this line right here is kind of my playhead. It tells me where I'm looking at in my video. And so right now I've moved my playhead to the start. And I'm going to click on this little uh, button up here at the top that says Title. And what that does is it allows me to give me a, a slide preceding into this. So it's currently called My Movie. Now you can see that I've got some text tools right here. This tab opened up, so it allows me to change my format. So maybe I want um, to change this to be uh, Movie Maker Example. So I'm just going to type up something. I'm going to highlight that. Maybe I'll change this to be some funky little thing there. We'll maybe make it bold. We can then uh, make the text color be red. Okay. And my background color, maybe I want to make that kind of a brown. Okay. Now, along with that, I have a start time and I have a, a text duration. So maybe I want the text duration to only be about three seconds. Maybe we'll make it two seconds. And then there's these uh, effects, which are the transitions for how the stuff gets in there. So I've got this one. Let's see, a kind of fade. I've got a coming in from either side, swinging around. Okay, so you can play with these. There's some drop-down menus here. So this one is a scroll drop-down. And this one right here is kind of like the you want to see them all at the whole time. And so maybe I'm going to go and look at some... Ooh, some cinematic versions. So I think I'll take this uh, cinematic version right there and I'll throw that on there. So that gives me a title. Now I can move my cursor here to the back end if I wanted to do credits and it gives me some different types of credits that I formatting that I wanted to do. So I could maybe do uh, like just uh, starring. Okay and then enter my cast. Okay, so this is me. And my son. And then what I can have it do again is that right now it's on a rolling scroll. I could have it come on across this way. I could have it drop in. That's kind of cool. So we'll go ahead and we'll click something different there. Now again, the duration and the time, start times, I might want this to only be there for, like, say, three seconds. We'll see how that looks. Maybe I want to change that background color to kind of match more of what I had. And maybe I want to change my text color to match what I had at the beginning. So I'm just, again, doing a couple of things um, to kind of clean this up a little bit, make it bold, and then widen it out. Okay? And then we can also move it around. There we go. All right. So that's giving it that. Now, on this still, I made me want to just add a caption. So I can go ahead and add the caption here. And I'm going to call this the dancer. Okay. So this caption just put the text box right on top of wherever it is that I'm looking at. And that's going to give me there. Now, notice in my play area, it gave me this. This is the duration. So this is what the text is going to read. This is the text that's going to match for two seconds. This is the other text that's going to run. We can bring the playhead all the way back to the beginning, and we'll just watch what we've done so far. So there's my Movie Maker example. Now, that this part here is kind of a little long, so let's see if we can change that time. So we'll go back to our video tools, and you can see that it's set up for seven seconds. We're going to change that back down to two seconds so that it matches. We'll do the same thing with this one, change that one back down to two seconds so it matches. And again, uh, I know that if you're watching this, you, okay, you should go through and just watch to see how it works so we can see that it's going there. And there we go. That'll give us our video. And, okay, and I'm going to just trim this one up, so I'm going to delete that one from that from the list. So there's the dancer. All right. And then let's see how our caption came out. Okay. And there you go. That's our entire putting in some slides. Um, 
If you wanted more than that for slides inserted, you're going to have to create your slides in a second program, something like a PowerPoint, and then uh, save those as a JPEG, and then you can import them like we would import any picture.